Hello. Here we have some very interesting gadgets for testing and instrumentation and that kind of thing. A mirror galvanometer over there. Adjustments uh, unit. All oh, very heavy, actually. All brass and steel. Woohoo! Stainless steel. Motor driven. There's the switch. Spectrograph, actually, part of a spectrograph, as well as this piece over here. Ancient, but oh, this is a, a magnetic type galvanometer. It's got a coil around it. Stick them up here for now. Uh, this here, what we mean by mirror, if I can get it off. Oh, yeah. Mirror over here. Doing. Where am I? There we are. So when there's a voltage current, a little bit of current running through these coils, and magnet, magnet that uh, moves that mirror actually. And shine a light on it and bounce off the wall. Very interesting stuff. Needs a little bit of repair work as you can see. This here goes right up here and it's all adjusted and everything. Great old piece. Quite useful actually. It's got to be some little minor touches on it fix it a little bit here and now this one's okay all leads work cleaned and polished yes sir -y. yeah doctor oh whoa whoa what else am i doing today oh i'll show you this one <laughs> barbara barbara my chops are flapping seen this stuff before and it's working here installing a ladder for the upper deck I think just climb up it you know, these things to put around parts of the upper deck up there sort of a railing be well bolted so that part this part then there's a hole area all up there all uncharted space so things can fit and go on in here in there ha I didn't get back further that's a big space up there there's some wood up there right now that's gonna make a railing or something it goes around that whole thing and I was working on hmm, this. I mounted some pieces on some metal, brass. Engine, telegraph, revolutions. And down here we have these, this whole plate. And they're mounted on wood and along with these pieces iron and also engine revolutions and a phone yes captain yes captain yes sir sir yes sir yes sir yes sir <laughs> oh, that's that one that's my shirt Four warships later, five years. I learned a lot and a lot of fun. I went every day, almost every day. Two other, sometimes I take a day off or two. But I go there on the weekends too. Hi, Wes Root, project manager. You got any Navy stuff up there? I think you have a warehouse. Let's check that out. 
Okay, so I wanted to get a photo or a screenshot of this. Alright, I'll send to somebody back east who has a warehouse full of this kind of thing. It is, um, I get the number. Ah, uh, iPad is so hard to get a number. Let's see, where are we? Ah! Mm. Mm. Okay, let's see. No, oh, it's blocking us. Lighting is terrible. Um, Asthmus indicator, of course, I know that. Oh, number with a serial number. No, 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 no. Uh, ITP, US Army. TRC, okay, ITP, 137 supporters, slash, uh, GRD, okay, we got that, woohoo, I'll get more light on. Okay, we got another one of these, we got so many of these things, R390s, URRs, what the heck, oh, portable telephone, but you got to carry your own battery too. That's about 80 pounds. It's equal to one of these. It's a military version of a military version kind of thing. These are meant to be in buildings and rack mounts to see out in the field. Airdropped. Must survive an airdrop. Okay, so. Just, uh, hmm. All right. So, see, yeah, I'll put a railing around this part here. But I don't think I got enough for that, but I'll get there. Let's put the ladder like this and just bolt the whole thing, clamp it on to the side of this heavy duty rack. All right, all right, Major. Carry on, we're down. <laughs> Dingy John, Jingy, I'm not doing a face video today, I'm doing a show and tell, I guess. Oh, well. Hi. Oh, I got four, maybe four pallets coming in here. More electronics. All not commercial stuff. This is a garbage jump. This kind of thing is basically trash. Oh, maybe I can use that case to hmm, mount a switch in it I got the other day. Big so they got this commercial stuff I don't bother with it it's all military surplus uh, any commercial stuff that's any useful it's military grade like everything's military here ding dong ding dong Getting a lot more of these coming in. Okay, now I have to make a rack to hold those. Some, yeah, you know, like, like this kind of stuff. I, it's useful, but I really don't like it that much. I prefer metal and no square plastic knob things. It's kind of useless. Let's feel the weird stuff I do. But anyway, this came in. It's a radar, tiny raid out of submarine radar set. Receiver. Indicator. Oh, be busy. Busy, busy, busy. Oh, yeah. That's all this stuff. Aircraft stuff here. Oh, okay. VOR. Oh, this control panel, I'm going to redo it. Huh.
and our little TV set. Got batteries for it, but it doesn't want to work yet. And I know there's nothing to watch, thank God. Except static, thank goodness. That helps me. Static. So, a bit of an update on what the hell I'm doing in the museum. Sort of. Number one. <laughs> oh, ten minutes on the new iPad, yeah. So, that's kind of a bear getting this new iPad back on to those sites like Google and YouTube. Plus, fun book. Nothing really, I find that all that stuff is very flat. And it's like just simply reading the Sunday comics. I think they should uh, rename Facebook to Mental Institution. A lot of people in there have a lot of problems. Anyway, I don't, you know, I only know a couple of people in real life who are there and they're not there that much, but the mental patients are there all the time. Day in and day day out, <coughs> but that's okay. Everybody's got their own things. I'm pretty crazy myself, right? Right. The basket case, neurotic. Anyway, have you had so many little speech for the day? Number one. What else is new? Oh, okay. <coughs> Well, well's a deep hole. Got a lot of small parts in it. 25 pounds, 35 pounds. Bristols and old radio parts. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Uh, so I got that covered. I'll do screenshots for the gentleman who might have another one of those IP series. So. What do you nuts have been doing out there? I'm almost got a thousand subscribers. Why, I don't know. And I had to open another channel because I couldn't get into Carla Connection. Uploaded one video or two. two for a test. And I'll just maybe use it as a backup thing if I want to. I don't know. Most of my time is um, Google search or eBay search. I did a lot of eBay searching. Because you never know who's going to throw something on the eBay. A virtual scrapyard, basically. God, I spent a lot of time on Gunbroker a couple of years ago. I got an award actually from Gun, Gun Broker, being the best customer with good ratings and everything. So I took a screenshot of that. I go there once in a while. But eBay, Google search, YouTube search. How to, basically, how to learn, you know, how to fix things. Or, I got a thought for it. What's new? <laughs> That's fun. It's uh, kind of interesting. As far as uh, Twitter and LinkedIn and all those other ones, redid it or redone it or something, I don't bother them at all, actually. I did upload my profile to Internet Movie Database website. Oh. Whoa. So, I'll test the video, I'll see if it uploads it. Re it should recognize and upload the whole damn thing. <laughs> Let's hope. I guess it's fun to do videos. It is for me, otherwise I wouldn't be doing them right, right? 
What's that, a cat over there? Ha! Huh. I don't know what that is. Oh, I know, that's EVO's thing. He looks funny in it. It's a real joke. A little, little shepherd dog, which I'll make a video on. Once I find out this works okay, I'll make a video on EVO. It's got a bed, the same color as that over there, and then you like sleeping. Anyway, okay, so uh, mm, 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 it is 15 minutes, 39 seconds, 40 seconds. I've been chit chatting and a little blah blah blah. Yeah, okay. Should get a screenshot of the R220 forward slash URR. Hmm. In a minute. I'll take a screenshot of it. There's a load of bird seed for the raven to come and go. Flocks of up to 30 now. They're getting along with EVO, okay? They sit up in the tree and talk to him. He's outside in his little playpen. <laughs> so. Yeah, well. Mm. Hi, doctor! Where's Carla? <laughs> Take a look at that. R220. Walk, walk, walk. Talk, talk, talk. Walk, 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 talk, talk, talk. Walk, 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 walk. This unit works good. I got a couple of those. Anyway, let's see where they are. Mm. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Mm. That's a real boat anchor, as they say. <sighs> Four pallets, maybe? That's a real lot of stuff. See, I'm get this fellow out of here. Oh, he's very heavy, too. Okay. Oh, God. 100 pounds. Tip it slowly. Break those things. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's an R220. Forward slash URR. So I'm trying to find another one. Okay. So I'll get a screenshot of that and send it to the fellow in Indiana. Oh, wow. Ooh. Mm. Heavier than an R390, by the way. Mm. And then holding an iPad. Whew. But that's okay. Got heavier ones than this fellow. They don't exist anywhere, except maybe in a museum. A-N-F-R-R-59, called. Yeah, they are 300 pounds, believe it or not. I'm getting a 400 pounder in on the shipment. So I sit here and listen sometimes to the layers. Yeah, here we are. Boink! Ooh, that was fast. Five nine, you know, getting up to the police band. <laughs> oh, there's the police. Come on, cops. There we go. I'm not sure that that is bad thing. Oh, there he is. Yep. The problem is they talk so fast, so uh, manual tuning is sometimes kind of hard. To turn this antenna around. So, that's it. Oops, I dropped the other antenna. Let's go this way.
Okay, you can see the noise a little dropped, and that's a lot. I kind of got a lot of noise in here from all the other random stuff going on. I'm gonna like sound and see what happens. Now, we're gonna look for 54, no, you want 50. No, I think they come, they come and go. They top real fast with the codes. Anyway. That's my shadow. which I have. Bodega Bay, that's what Tom Trollers used to look. Let's go down to... fifty-nine point. Come on, where are those coffee teas? <laughs> Takes a while because they're very quick on the walkie yaki. Oh, there's one there, the little blue one. Got to line up to the peep. <laughs> it takes a while, but it's uh, come and go. Of course, this is wasting your time, of course, but... Well, we'll just tune down and see what other things are going on. Oh, there's some noise. Random radio noise. Ooh. See that there? Don't match up to my beat. Right there. Then fine to it. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready to go. Turn the alarms on, turn the lights. Well, some of the lights off, not all of them. Well, yeah. There we go. He's off. He's off. These guys are off. Okay. <laughs>